Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to download and install Python ideally. Also, I will be showing you how to run first program using it. So, let's start the video. You can open any of your favorite browser and just search for Python. Okay, here you can see the search result. It is showing me official website that is python.org. You can just click on this downloads link. And now here you can see it is showing me the latest version for Windows that is Python 3.11. If you have any other operating system, you can just click on the appropriate link and you can download the latest version. So I'm going to just click on this button, download Python 3.11. Okay, so my download is done. Now I'm going to just click on this exe to start my installation. Okay, I'm going to select run over here. Okay, here I'm going to check mark on this add python.exe to path. So it will add the python path to my environmental variable path. So let me check mark this and here I'm going to click on customize installation button. These are the feature which will be installed on your machine. So select everything they are required. So PIP is used for installing Python libraries or packages and uh, ideally is a default ideally which comes with this Python. So I'm selecting all the default option and here I'm just going to click on next button. And now here if you want to install this Python for all the user of your machine so you can just check mark on this. Here it is showing me installation location so it will be installed into C drive program files python 311. Just click on this install button to start the installation. Okay it's asking me permission I am going to click on yes button. Okay so my installation is in progress. We will wait for a while. Okay, so my setup is successful. Now I'm going to just click on this close button. Okay, let's verify the installation. So just search for CMD. And now here you can type Python hyphen hyphen version to check the version of Python. And you can see it is showing me Python 3.11.0. Now I'm going to print a simple statement. So for that, first of all, I have to shift to Python shell. So just type py and hit enter. So you can see it's showing me shell. Now here I'm going to just type print and here I'm going to type hello all. Okay, so you can see it is showing me message hello all. So my Python is working properly. Now there is another way to run Python program. So I will show you all the ways. So just close this CMD and search for IDLE. So here you can see it is showing me Python IDLE. Just click on this. And now this is the python shell you can type your command here also so let me just print a simple message okay so you can see it's showing me the result you can write any expression over here for example i'm writing 3 plus 8 so you can see it is showing me the result so uh, you can type your command here also or another way is that you can create a new file so if you have big program you can create a new file so go to file menu new file Okay, now here you can type your program. Now this is done. To run this program, we need to first save this program. So you can just go to file menu and just click on save as. And here you can save your program. So I am just selecting desktop and my folder. And here I am going to just save it with a name. Hello. If you don't provide, by default it will be provided. So just click on save button. Okay, so my program has been saved with hello.py name. Now to run this program, you can press F5 or you can go to run menu and select run module. And you can see here, it's showing me message, welcome to CS corner. So these are the different ways to write and run your Python program using Python ideally. So this concludes my video. I hope guys my video has helped you. If yes, then do hit on like button. And if you have any kind of query, you can put in comment box. I will surely reply to your queries. Guys, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching my video till end. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.